Previously on modding, General Zero Hour. We did it in ours. How do we get this asset to become one of our playthings? Yanis, we're sending you in. We know you can do it. Uh, okay. I've got a present for you. That was left handed. I'm Yanis Anguar, and this tutorial is going to be about borrowing assets from other mods. Alright, let's jump right in. Alright, now we're going to make the command button real fast. It shouldn't be uh, too hard since we have the object. All we got to do. Alright, now we're going to make the command button. You can do this yourself, or you can just copy it over. Just copy from there to there. Copy, just like before, put it into your command button, now that it's pasted in there, time to find the appropriate place to put it to build, but as you can see, I have so many choices that I'll have to do, remove one. Uh, who says I have to? This is just a test after all. Alright, and that should be basically the unit should be enabled. Orders complete, sir. Orders complete, sir. Alright, as you can see, I have it added right here, um, but for some reason I can't build it. Let's see if I can figure that out real fast. Construction is complete. Huh. Build orders complete, sir. Build orders complete, sir. All right. Progress. Take Construction five. is complete. It looks like this because it, the proper cameo is not in place. But here, moment of truth. And it worked. Nav system set. Lie and low. As you can see. Can't see the lasers. Air covers on the way. You need to add those particular artwork. All right, we're gonna optimize the weapon now. We're gonna find this, which is apparently an object. You can find it in the laser general's thing. Just copy it over, and it's just a um, instructions for the beam. Um, as you can see, it's just basically telling it to use this. Copy that over. Nav system set. Visibility clear. And just like that, you have yourself a laser Comanche. Alright, now that we are done tweaking and optimizing our unit, let's check out the cameos. We have returned to our uh, dot big. We will be looking in the data.ini slash mapped images texture size 512. These are all the uh, images I made a previous video. You should see a pop-up right about now about this. Um, as you can see, what you uh, if you go to the image, uh, uh, the unit you want to build, regardless of what unit it is or building, you will see the select portrait and button image, as I showed in my previous um, thing. As you can see, there is the that name right there. You just copy it over, and it'll bring you. It'll bring you right here, 
with the two uh, cameos. And it will tell you all this good information. These are the coordinates. And this is the actual um, TGA that is containing the image. The uh, As you can see, it says SW user interface 512. You would uh, scroll up back up to the texture art and look for this particular one. The uh, coordinates, as you can see, are written like this, but it won't matter too much because we'll, we will be having a uh, customized um, placement anyway. So when we go and find the art texture, number two, as we can see, this is the unit right here. Just like before, we want to uh, extract it and then refer to the Cameo's video for further instruction here. And that's it. It's that simple. And now you have your favorite units from your favorite mods in your own game with having to not have your favorite mods installed. Because let's be honest, we sometimes really only love a few parts of some mods. And the rest of it we can go, we can leave. Alright, that's enough for this. If you have any questions, leave below. Um, if you have any curiosities, um, any ideas, feel free to hit me up. Uh, feel free to join the Discord, the link is below. Have a great day. Until next time, this is Yanuis signing off.